everybody. We have a very special guest coming in today. Come on, Lucas. Hey, guys. So, I'm sure you know about the big topic on everyone's mind. Digital etiquette. What are some of your thoughts on it? Yeah, well, uh, me being one of the experts on this kind of stuff, digital citizenship, I think digital etiquette is one of, if not the most important uh, things of, or themes of digital citizenship. I mean, it's pretty much uh, the rules describing how to use the internet and like what, how you should interact with other people throughout uh, your experiences. I mean, online gaming's a big thing. Uh, when you do there, you're most there's most likely either a chat where you could talk directly, mm -hmm. or at, at least type something in and yeah. say it to other people. And I feel people are way too bold when they're on the internet and they know that they can't really be reached as easily as if you talked directly to them. And they're getting way too bold, saying way too many rude comments on everything. This all leads me to think that there should be rules on digital etiquette. I mean, when you get a new computer or anything like that, they always come with a manual, but it only describes the features. I mean, it doesn't say anything on, on what you should do on the internet, how you use it, and various things like that. So there it, should be one of those kind of sets of rules, you're saying? Yeah, there should be a, a set of rules. And there are a lot of people out there who know who know nothing about these. And they just get their computers for the first time. Uh, start being way too bold, uh, yelling at people, cursing at people on the computer. Yeah, and, that's true. And another thing is, people don't realize this, but all caps when you're typing, it comes out as you yelling at them. Yeah, people really need to learn how to use computers from a young age. And there should be a set of rules, you're right. Yeah, so. Oh, so that's all for today, folks. Uh, I could just.